We're here at Harlech Engineering, just outside of Swansea in Wales. Sam, I know we're going to see the part in great depth, but how are you making it in the most efficient way possible? Yeah, so when we were choosing sort of wake holding and tooling, we have to try and choose a wake holding that is secure enough to we can machine it as fast as possible. But for us, it is a lot of smaller and medium runs. So we had to choose a wake holding system that we could interchange really quickly and make sure it was set up properly. So you've gone for a Herco VM10i machine, vertical machining centre, three axes, but you chose this over going for a full five axis simultaneous option or a adding a fourth axis on, didn't you? Yeah, so um, this is mainly the one particular job that would require a fourth or a, a fifth axis, but it's not mainly financially viable to do that for one particular part, so we have to try and choose and think of a different way around it. So show me some of the features on this first and then let's talk about this chick vice that you've chosen. These are parts for speedometers in um, about 1980s, 1990s cars. They hold the mileometer behind the dial. Um, a lot of the dimensions on them, particularly sort of the cross holes and that, have to be very critical so that it racks the mileage up correctly. And um, yeah, it was quite a, quite a complicated part originally to try and program. So how would you machine this if you didn't have the chick vice? Um, so if we were using a fourth or fifth axis, it would be one part at a time. And you'd have to sort of rotate it in every single dimension, every single plane, have new work shifts and try and work out ways of programming and try and work out a way of doing all of it while still holding it in the vice. And then how are you doing it now? And what are the benefits? How we're doing it now is we're using generally a third axis machine. We can hold the part in three different operations, upright, sideways and sideways. Um, this allows us, one, to not have to spend the outgoings on a fourth axis, and it allows us to use the same vice set that we can use to run a various amount of different parts without having to take them out of the machine. And how easy have you found it? Are the setups easy? Yeah, the setups are amazing. The machines remember all the zero points, the length of the tools, the, all the tool setups, like speeds and feeds. So all we have to do is put the vices and bolt them back in exactly the same place they were before and press go. And with the Chick Vice, it's very versatile looking at it now. You can use that for so many jobs in the future too. Yeah, it's soft draw aluminium, easily machinable to any sort of job you want. And the dual sides means you can use the same advice for more than one job, three, four or five, you really, really got into it. But yeah, it's amazing to use. So you'd recommend it to others then? Yeah, it's the simplicity of the vice, the main body of the vice seems stays fixed the entire time. So it's just you changing the jaws on top and all the jaws are interchangeable with all check systems and they're all machinable. So they're really easy to use.